He's just playing games. Hey man, you want to do an interview? For my YouTube channel? You're not too busy. You're playing games, you're not even studying. The platforms, do they lean in one political direction or do they censor in another direction? Have you seen anything like that? Yeah, definitely. It's pretty normal for people to have political bias on social media as well because you can see on, especially with fake news being, it's actually a thing that, but I understand that Donald Trump kind of like says it in a kind of weird way, but then it does happen. I've seen news, news sources such as you can see that National Post is more conservative and you can see CBC as more liberal. They have little, it's okay to have political political bias, I, I would say, because everyone has their own beliefs and understanding of things, so it's quite normal, I'll say. It's quite normal for the platforms themselves to have it, like Facebook and Twitter and everything, or do you think they have one, or do you think they don't have a bias? They do have a bias. Today we're just asking people if they think there's, so, uh, there's political bias on social media. Well, all right, what's the, what's the question? Like? Do you think there's political bias on social media? Yes, definitely. Against who? Um, against anyone who's like, you know, who's like, I guess, not I want to say radical, but like more right-wing views, generally speaking. Like, you usually see like, you know, those type of views being censored uh, in like mainstream media, generally. And like, so can you think of any examples? Uh, I forgot his name. Is that a lot of Ooh, didn't you get like loud with Crowder? Didn't you get like uh? You got demonetized, yeah. On YouTube and crazy, and all yeah. that, for doing uh things to I forget what the company was. What was it? To Vox. To Vox, yeah. He wasn't he. He was criticizing them. Criticizing them. That one writer from it. I forget his yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's just one example. I mean, there's there's this other guy who who's a right wing. Like I think he had a podcast, and then he was also getting demonetized on YouTube. I completely forgot his name though. But just like in general, those type of uh views aren't seen like I guess as positive or like as 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 I don't know as like media friendly and so those are usually like either demonetized or like they're like not shown in like with other with like other or as equally as other views are shown I guess there might be why why wouldn't there be cuz yeah I, like the platforms themselves I don't really know if the platforms but yeah, I guess that's true. When when people have money, the power, they can influence those type of platforms for sure. Is there anything you've seen that might sway your opinion one way or the other? Not sway my opinion. I feel like I'm educated enough to know that that happens. But um, definitely people that aren't educated enough, that they could, that could sway their opinions, yeah. Do you think it would be a problem if social media companies were delisting or pr putting preferred searches over other ones just to you know feed their own bias to show people what they want to be seen? Yeah, no, I, I feel like that is a problem, but I feel like it's our job to know what's real and what's not. So, because in, in this world, like, everything, it's not good, it's not everything isn't going to be real, right? So, mm -hmm. it's our job to be stay educated. Okay. Yeah. And anything else? Nothing else, no. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Have a good day. Okay. Uh, do, do you know, do you think, which side do you think they're on? For, for who? Like, social media yeah. in general? Um, I don't know. There's a divide. There's a division is necessary for for politics because each side will balance out. Such as conservatives are more of neoliberal, and liberal is more. Um, that's awkward. <laughs> are you guys gonna put this on YouTube? I hope not. Yeah. In politics, you'll call selective exposure, where people will only get one side of the story. They don't get both sides. Because if you're a more sophisticated person, then you definitely search out for the legit, legitimate like, information. Whereas if you only go to social media for news sources, even like news sources, I, I don't really believe them sometimes. I'll like fact check and see if it's actually legit or not. Like for example, I feel like academic papers are more accurate rather than news sources to me personally. Yeah. So that, that's just my So would you like identify with that or are you just seeing that as an objective uh Oh, that's just what I see as objectively. Just like, just like it, it should be equally like represented, but clearly it's not. Just, just, just like you can just obviously see that's just how it is.